TIFU by getting two friends to date. So, I, 32M, have a small group of friends. But because I moved a lot growing up they are all from different places and most don't know each other. Only hear about the others cause I talk about them. Anyways, I have two lesbian friends. Let's call them Alicia, 28F, and Catherine, 29F. I'm currently living close to Alicia and I invited everyone to my birthday four months ago. My friends got to know each other and everything was well. Except I decided to invite Catherine for a sleepover one day and we ended up going out to dinner. With Alicia that had a day off. After the dinner they both individually tell me they are interested on each other and I get excited. Cause they really seem to match. I jokingly encourage them both and they end up going on two dates before asking each other to date. On the third one, all was well until Catherine broke things off four months later out of the blue. Alicia called me crying and explained what had happened. I stayed diplomatic and neutral and tried asking Catherine what happened but she didn't want to talk. After a few days Alicia said she didn't want to talk about it anymore although she was still sad. Catherine moved on and Alicia kinda spiraled down. Before she would only date. Now she hooks up left and right with any and all women that comes her way. She went back to smoking and drinking like she did in high school and says it's fine. Not only all of that is a problem on itself but also my wedding is in 6 months and I don't think. I can have the two of them together in the same room. My fiancé has a very small family and I have only my mom and my aunt nearby whom I'm close with. And my small group of friends. So we decided on a wedding dinner instead of a party. I asked both Alicia and Catherine if it would be fine to have to see each other again and they both said if would be fine coldly. I don't think it'll be fine. I'm worried there will be some fighting cause Alicia will just drinking away and Catherine will be cold like she has become every time Alicia is mentioned. I told my fiancé about my worries and she wants me to dig deeper and try to find a solution or I'll either have to disinvite one of them or bear through a fight on my wedding dinner. I just wished I had never introduced them but now is too late. What do I do? I don't want to disinvite either of them but also don't want to fight. My fiancé is very drama averted so I have to avoid a fight. Any advice? Also, sorry formatting and any mistakes. I'm on mobile and English is not my first language. TL. D or got two of my close friends to date but they broke up and now hate each other and I'm afraid a fight will happen on my wedding. Not your foo for having them meet each other. Their relationship falling apart isn't on you. Any room in the budget for them to invite plus ones to the dinner? May sound bad but if you can't get to the bottom of the split and have them both amicable toward each other. Seating plan may be required to keep them distant during the event. If anything happens after the event, you can't be held accountable. Adults need to adult. And if they value your friendship, they should be willing to bury the hatchet for one evening. Hey mate, I understand your situation, but I think if both agree that it was okay to be in the same place again then it's because they are trying not to ruin your wedding dinner. If that happens is because they don't respect you as a friend. Disinvited one of them won't be very nice of you because that means you are choosing between them. Also, if one of them is uncomfortable with the situation she'll tell you on her own that she won't go. Wish you the best for your wedding and good luck with your friends. I'm pretty sure they both will do their best to behave properly on the wedding of their friend. But you should keep an eye on the drinking friend. Even if she doesn't want to pick a fight for your sake. Drunk people aren't really rational and always the most likely people to ruin a wedding. Aside from that you should be fine. You tell them individually that you want them at your wedding. You ask them straight out to swear. Record it even. That they will not get into it with each other. Do not put them in any position where their being present is required. 
Never been in this circumstance before. I'd say to not invite either of them. Truthfully explain why to them. And see if they agree or disagree. You don't want there to be tension because you want everyone to be enjoying themselves. Tell your friends you're willing to compromise on your dream wedding and it sucks that they won't be there. You want everyone to have a good time. If they're willing to put their history aside for your wedding, they'll let you know when you go on ahead with it in the way you want. They both are almost 30. Hopefully they will act as adults and let your wedding be about you rather than use it as an occasion for their own purposes. Catherine found out something about Alicia that she doesn't want you to know because she thinks it might affect your friendship. I'm going to take the strict stance and advise to focus on your wedding and not the drama of your friends. If they can't open up to you on the specifics, need to reconsider them as your good friends and time to disinvite them to your wedding. The negative impact and memories of a bad wedding will far outweigh the friend relationships. Plus, you already have the answer from your fiancé. No drama at the wedding. Perhaps just say you and your fiancé have decided to hold the wedding with family only as an excuse? If I'm your good friend, I would be more sensitive to your situation edit spelling, and offer not to show to the wedding, putting your special day above any personal wobbly relationship. Sorry if this is harsh but you need to protect your special day as it will be with you forever. Till death do you part so to speak. Have a wonderful wedding and enjoy your new life together. Paragraphs. If they are anything like my friends, they are so going to sleep together. Edit. In all honesty, if they are your friends, they will respect you. I had a feeling my GF was toying with my friend and despite her reassuring me repeatedly that she's not interested in him, I broke up with her. They started dating a week later. I was really cold towards her for a while. Once telling her that I'm not mad but she's just a person I don't want in my life. Some time later our mutual friend invited all three of us to his birthday. I decided to just avoid her to prevent any drama. 30 minutes into the dinner. We bumped into each other on a smoke. What started as a mandatory small talk turned into an interesting and invested conversation and ever since then we're good friends. Shit happens and especially when people are involved. The best course of action would be keeping them both on the guest list. Asking them if they are okay beforehand and if something happens. Which I don't think will. At least you'll have some interesting memories. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.